Hi guys and welcome to another video by myself, Bits and 87 EA have gone and dropped some new players into Ultimate Team. If you guys do even play FIFA 16, but it is basically transfers from the, tra the transfer deadline day. But there is a few missing that I have noticed, so hopefully they're going to drop some more in uh, before the end of the game, probably in the next couple of days. Actually, so the first one we have got, guys, is Remy. But before that, if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If we're trying to smash over 5,000 likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. And guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. So the first one, like I said, guys, is Lloyd Kremi moving from Chelsea to Crystal Palace. Very solid play if you guys do want to build a Crystal Palace team now as they've got a lot of new transfers at the end of the game today. We also have Castan as well moving to Torino. So a strong link to Joe Hart as well because he has got a card, which I'll show you in a sec. And then we have Benteke moving to Crystal Palace as well. So a strong link between Benteke and uh, Remy is looking very, very good already and looks like a dangerous, cheap partnership as well. If you can actually get hold of the players, which is one downfall of this. In the goalkeeper position as well, we do have Sevilla's new goalkeeper, Sirigu, which will be a tidy card for Ultimate Team FIFA 17, just because of the fact he is Italian and good for hybrid purposes. Very solid keeper in game, actually, but not many people have gone near him this year because of the fact that PSG have had a lot of good goalkeepers. We have Mario Balotelli as well, moving from a free transfer from Liverpool to Nice, and I didn't actually realise that Nice have signed another couple of players as well, and one of them actually features in this video. Next one we've got, guys, is Jack Will moving from uh, Arsenal to Bournemouth on loan, now has a card in Ultimate Team. We have Lucas Perez as well moving to Arsenal as the new striker, but I don't imagine a lot of people will want to use him, but he does get a perfect link to Cazola. Um, is that it? Perfect link to Cazola, I think it does, yeah, because he's a striker. We also have Gure as well moving from uh, Zenit to Valencia. Um, 52 pace centre-back in the La Liga. Won't be that bad, actually, but... He's now in Ultimate Team. We have Borny as well moving from Manchester City to Stoke. We have De Jong moving from the MLS to Galatasaray and a perfect link to Wesley Schneider. We have Dante, the other one moving to Nice as well, guys. I told you there was another one, and it is Dante. I didn't even realise this one happened, but uh, he now plays for Nice. We have Dost moving to... Sport in Lisbon. Now, the transfer that I am missing, guys, and I don't know why EA have added it in, and it is Slamani to Leicester. That one's actually missing now, uh, but we do have Dost going the opposite way to uh, to uh, Lisbon. We have David Luiz as well, the fresh new transfer from PSG to uh, to Chelsea. This one uh, is probably the highest rated one of today, I think. Uh, there's a lot of 83. I don't think there's any 84s, but we do have David Luiz back at Chelsea. Nice looking card. We have Mustafi going to uh, from Valencia to Arsenal. Six Nine pace, 83 defending, very solid defender in the BPL now. We have Connor Playanka as well, the cheap um, La Liga winger is now a cheap, well I say cheap, he's only under 10k in it, uh, under 10k Bundesliga winger for Schalke. We have Sami and Nasri moving from Manchester City to Sevilla, this one is now in the game. We also have Pereira moving from uh, Juventus to Watford and has already scored in his debut as well. We already have, well we have Sillison, a lot of goalkeeper change as well this transfer window guys. We have Sillison to Barcelona we have Mangala to Valencia. We have João Mario moving from Lisbon to uh, Inter Milan. So now he's now in the game. We have Arbeloa moving to West Ham. And we also have Zaza moving to West Ham as well. But there's so many transfers, guys. I haven't been able to cover them all in this video. We also have Joe Hart to Torino. This one was probably the most um, interesting one in the final couple of days of the transfer window. And then we have Claudio Bravo at Manchester City. Um, very, very solid card. And then we're back at Loic Remis. So there's a lot more, guys. But I have missed a few. So apologies. Apologies for that, but there's nothing I can really do really because there's so many um, and a lot of bronze and silver ones as well. So if we do move over to the uh, packs, we're going to open some packs, guys, see if we can get any of them. And we'll uh, spend about, I don't know, we'll open about 200k's worth just to see if we can get any of the new players and sell them on for people who can get them off the market. Are we going to get anyone good, CDM? Napoli Allen. So we do get some, like Jean Matt at Watford there. There's a few decent ones. Hopefully I can get some of the uh, the new ones, guys, just so I can show you that they are impact. Well, you know they're impacts, uh, but some of the ones which didn't actually feature in the video. You guys may notice more than I actually have anyway. So like I said, guys, FIFA 17 is around the corner. If you do want any MSP, PSN codes, go and check out G2A. Get stocked up ready for FIFA 17. It's not even that far away now. There's a few here, isn't there? But no, no good ones, really. So we've got three, and uh, you, can, you can tell how many uh, new players been added into the game just because of the fact that I already don't have them in the club which is pretty pretty stacked club anyway you know so let's move on to the rest guys see what we can get striker Adderies in it so we've got Adderies there and no new transfers that's very very interesting 
I thought I would get more than that one, and we haven't. So we'll open, we'll open uh, four, three more guys, and then we'll, we'll call it a day there, just because I don't really want to be spending too much money on packs, as I do still want to be getting cards on Ultimate Team. Goalkeeper. Oh, I thought I was getting Sivigu, then we get Marchetti, uh, but we do get Vezo. Uh, Graham as well. I think Graham was a transfer uh, on the deadline day as well, moving to uh, to Blackburn. And let's open two more guys and uh, see if we can get any of the new transfer players and hopefully save us a bit of money because I think it's going to be pretty hard to get hold of some of these players. Gray. Oh, my God. Rodriguez there. We get Martin Zindi to Stoke as well. That's a new one. Um, Taliska to Besiktas. I think that's a new one as well. And Biabiani, etc. I don't even know what's in Team of the Week either. We potentially could get a Team of the Week player, but knowing my luck, I'll probably end up missing out on it anyway. Let's see. Come on. Plus a, bl plus a black. Plus a black. Right, so we get Montalivio, we get Prior as well, who I think is a new transfer. Uh, and that's basically it. So, guys, if you haven't... Actually, I'll open one more. I'll open one more because I'm nice. Uh, so, if you guys have enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, rate, and subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. And uh, let me know if you guys even do play FIFA 16. I'm getting Navas there uh, still. And we're going to be looking forward to picking up some of these uh, players for your ultimate team. So, until next time, guys, see you all later. Have a very, very nice rest of your day.